So when I was younger, I, I always wanted to be a teacher. Um, yeah, I think teaching is a very admirable trade. Um, to an extent, I believe I'm, I'm teaching now anyway. You know, I've, I've worked as a manager for a long time. I've mentored and coached lots of people. So I do get to teach. But yeah, a teacher, maybe a science teacher if we're going to be specific. So in my spare time, I'm, I'm a golfer. I'm an average golfer. Um, I enjoy the social side of it. I don't really enter the club competitions and things like that, but I'm a, I'm a member up at Crane Valley, so a local course to the office as well. Uh, I've got two children, 12 and 8. Um, we go as a family, we go out and do a lot of walking, a lot of cycling when the weather permits. Um, yeah, our favourite cycle route, we love going all the way around Pool Harbour. It's a really nice ride um, from where I live in Pool. It's, it's a nice, easy ride to take on. That's, that's a tough one. I mean, advice is, is, I've had lots of great advice over the years. I, th I think two, two things that probably stick in my mind. Um, I think a work one is, is that was silence is okay. We were in a, a negotiation, a benchmark negotiation. It was actually a commercial manager that said that to me. You know, when it is somebody else's turn to respond, silence is fine. Sit and wait, let, let them respond. Um, yeah, don't be afraid of that dead air. From point of view of, of maybe a bit of personal advice, it was when my son was born, my first child, a friend said to me, um, he said, um, don't listen to anyone else's advice about your children. Uh, you know your child best. And I've kind of tried to live like that because you, you do know your children best. So yeah, that's some good advice for anyone who's about to become parents as well. So I'm, I'm an optimistic person all the time anyway. And I think that, that does help and sort of leads to being pretty motivated about things anyway. And I think being optimistic kind of goes a long way to help with decision making and, and, and actually, you know, pushing something in the direction I want. So, yeah, optimism keeps me motivated. Um, and I think you've got to look at what's the end result going to be. And service is an incredibly thankless task, unfortunately. So you just sort of said that you're not going to get the thanks at the end of it, but push on, do it your way and, and know your reward is that you delivered something better. So I think a, a, an inspirational person for me is somebody like James Dyson. I mean, I, I won't just single him out. I think inventors in general, I, I find fascinating. That want to innovate, to change. Um, yeah, I've always kind of held them in, in high esteem. Without people like that in the world, things wouldn't move forward. We wouldn't be different. Oh, fun fact about myself. Okay, I, I have an identical twin brother. There's a there's a fun fact. So, um, yeah, he actually lives a bit further out near Bridport. But, uh, yeah, if you're walking down the street and you say, oh, hey, Richard, and they don't respond, it's probably my twin brother you just bumped into. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's lots of work-related things. In my, my last organisation, I, I uh, rewrote a contract took the value from 10 million to 6 million, um, no real impact to service. Um, I think more more personally, aside from me and my wife becoming a father, you know, they're obviously great achievements. I, I shot a 79 on the golf course, which I was pleased with. I'm a 19 handicapper. Um, I also held a Guinness World Record as well. I was at a, a leadership event and we did uh, most consecutive high fives in two minutes. So yeah, we, we I, yeah, I was on the Guinness World Record. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a week in it, Tiger, now. Um, I, th I think it's a fantastic company. Um, everyone's really engaged. Everyone's really friendly, really kind, really helpful. Um, everyone's prepared to muck in to get the job done. Um, and obviously, I, th I think the Tiger product is fantastic. <laughs>